Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 37, and today we're talking about the resonator module. So let's right click the display port in it preset here. We have our saw wave. So let's go to the effects grid, select an empty cell, and then select res one and play some notes, and we don't hear anything. So basically a resonator is a lot of different filters, well four in this case right over here, and we have a couple separate controls, right? This F is gonna be the frequency of that filter, E is gonna be the emphasis, or you can think resonance, and then G is gonna be the gain here. So let's bring the gain up on this first filter, which is gonna be low pass, you see right over here. And we can start hearing something. Now we can change the frequency of that. So from 60 to 300, and then we can change the emphasis or the resonance. Now the next one here, we go from 300 to 1.5K. Now let's bring up the gain of this one. It's gonna be at 300 right now. And we can bring it up. And bring up the emphasis as well. And same for the, four, or the third one here. This is gonna be from 1.5 to 7.5K. So let's bring up the gain here at 1.5 and bring up the frequency and the emphasis and then for the fourth one here we go from 60 which is going to be at the bottom here as well to 7.5 which is the top one as well here so you have a lot of range on this fourth one so keep that in mind let's bring up the gain here and the frequency and the emphasis it's really cool how you can select these different sliders and kind of really make some interesting sounds like this. And then we have this little knob here or this little button or slider list, whatever you want to call it, called color. And this is three different analog filter models. Basically, the higher color number, the more CPU it's going to use. So maybe go to two if you want something a little bit nicer. Bring this down just a bit here. And then we have our input knob for the input gain. And then we have the different modes here. So by default, we're on LP, so low pass. And then we have band pass. We have band pass I, which is basically the band pass with an inverted second filter. So this one over here, the one that goes from 300 to 1.5K. And then the last one is going to be a high pass. And the coolest part of all of this here is that all of these bars here are going to be able to be modulated. So let's say, for example, we want to do something like that. So on the fourth filter here, this frequency, we want to modulate that. So we can use an LFO for that. So let's set that in the middle here, kind of so we have about 50% area to kind of move things bipolar, right? Let's go to the modulation matrix. Let's right click this first one here. And now we see a resonator because it's contact sensitive. And on the fourth one here, the frequency, this is the one we want to modulate. Now let's select an LFO. So let's go LFO one, for example. <laughs> and give us some depth. So there we go. Now we're basically just going wham, wham with our mouse here, but we're using this first LFO to do that. And maybe you can try that on the third one. Let's see if a different one sounds a little different. Maybe let's do that for the second one on the frequency here. So let's go to modulation matrix as well. Right click, go to resonator, go to the second one. I think it was frequency two. And then maybe do a different LFO at a different speed, something like this here. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of cool. So maybe we'll have this one at one over four and let's maybe do this one at one over eight, something kind of like that. Double click the rate. So they're both moving at different speeds, but they're also gonna be locked into the tempo. And see how that sounds for different filters. So yeah, the resonator is a lot of fun. I do highly recommend to spend some time with it because you can actually spend a lot of time, maybe a whole day or a couple days just in this module alone. It's a lot of fun and play around with how you can modulate these kind of things and maybe modulate them as with weird things. You know, maybe, maybe get a mod mapper and put that as an LFO and change the different values and it can get pretty in depth pretty quick. So yeah, that's the resonator module in a nutshell. And keep in mind, you have two of those so you can use one for something else or three of those, sorry. And you can use those for whatever you really want to, uh, to use. So yeah, hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.